Number 95. Using the periodic table, predict whether the following chlorides are ionic or covalent, KCl, NCl3, ICl, MgCl2, PCl5, and CCl4. All right, so we just basically have to look at these six compounds and determine whether the compound is either ionic or covalent. Now, they're calling each compound a chloride because if you've noticed, all of these compounds have chlorine in them. Here's a Cl here, a Cl here, chlorine, chlorine. As you can see, they all have chlorine in them. So that's why they're all classified as a chloride compound. Now, what is the difference between an ionic compound and a covalent compound. An ionic compound is a compound between a metal and a nonmetal. All right, so you have to have at least one metal combined with at least one nonmetal. All right, so you can't have two non two metals ever, ever, ever in any compound. Ionic bonds are always between a metal and a nonmetal. Covalent compounds, on the other hand, I'll put it down here. These compounds exist between a nonmetal and another nonmetal. So, does it have to be two nonmetals? No, but they just have to be all nonmetals. That's the idea of a covalent compound. All nonmetals together combined. So, do you see the difference here? Ionic compounds, you have to see the metal. If there's no metal present, it's automatically going to be a covalent compound. Now, just to know further, the chemical difference between ionic and covalent is ionic bonds will always transfer electrons. So the metal will always throw its electrons to the nonmetal. And the covalent compounds between the uh, two nonmetals, they will always share electrons. So that's the difference. Ionic compounds always transfer one. Um, Basically, the metal will give the electron to the nonmetal, but covalent compounds, they're much nicer. They like to share electrons. They like to play fair. All right, so I'm going to write down over here, let's do the first one. Is KCl a ionic compound or a covalent compound? Well, we've done tons of problems that just talk about where these elements are in the periodic table. So you guys should memorize your metals, metalloids, and nonmetals. So... Potassium is over here, right? And potassium is automatically a metal, right? The metals are all in yellow. So since potassium is a metal, that automatically answers this one. This is definitely an ionic compound. So I'll just put ionic compound. That's it. I don't even care about where chlorine is because an ionic compound is the only one that has the metal in its compound. So next, so that gets rid of this one, NCl3. All right, so where's nitrogen and where's chlorine? Nitrogen is over here. Nitrogen is a nonmetal, it's in blue. And chlorine is over here. So they're both nonmetals, right? They're both in the blue category. So this would be a covalent compound. So that means that when they come together, the electrons would be shared. I'll just put covalent comp, compound, comp, same thing. So that gets rid of this one. Next one, ICl. Okay, well, we know where the chlorine is on the periodic table. That's right here. Where's iodine? It's two elements down, number 53, right here. They're both nonmetals, so this has to be a covalent compound. When these elements come together, they will share electrons. That gets rid of that one. MgCl2, magnesium, and chlorine are coming together to form a compound. We already know that chlorine's over here. That's a nonmetal. But where is magnesium? Magnesium's all the way over here. That's a metal, right? So a metal is always going to form a ionic bond. So MgCl2 is going to be an ionic compound. So that gets rid of this one. Last two, I'll put these, I guess, on this side. So PCl5, phosphorus, which is P, 
and chlorine. We know where chlorine is. It's right here. But where's phosphorus? It's two elements to the left of chlorine. It's right here. That's still a nonmetal. Two nonmetals are coming together. This has to be a covalent compound. They will share electrons when they bond together. And then last but not least, C, Cl4. Chlorine we know is here. Where's carbon though? Carbon is C, just C. Carbon is number six. Carbon's up top here. Both two nonmetals. So this has to be a covalent compound. I'll just put comp. Yeah, that's good. So it looks like we have four covalent compounds. NCl3, which is this one. ICL, which was covalent, PCL5, and CCL4. Those were your covalent compounds. Your ionic ones are KCL and MgCl2 because they both had the metal in them. All right? So this one was pretty easy. Just know how to use the periodic table. Know where your metals, metalloids, and nonmetals are. And then you'll always be able to know whether it's going to be an ionic compound or a covalent compound. And that's that. Thanks so much for coming here for this answer. If it helped, click the like button. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, click subscribe, right? It will help us out greatly. And I thank you so much for that. I'll see you guys all in number 96. See you then.